How to add and subtract radical expressions. The rules to add and subtract radical expressions are given on the side here. You have to make sure that your radicals are in the simplified form and then you have to combine like radicals. Let me explain what I mean by that. Okay. Um, the first part, I'm going to actually explain rule number two first. Um, if you have a question like this, What I mean by combine like radicals is you can only combine the radicals of the same type. So here the first two terms has radical 2 and the last term is radical 3. So this is a different type. So these two are the same type. So you're only going to add the coefficients of these two. 5 plus 6 is 11 radical 2 plus 6 radical 3. Now this is similar to how you only add like terms when you add algebraic expressions. Like if you had 7x minus 2y plus 3x, you would only combine the like terms. x goes with x. So you would add the coefficients. 7 plus 3, 10x, and then you would just leave the negative 2y by itself. That would be your answer. So just like how in when you add and subtract algebraic expressions, algebraic expressions, you would only add like terms. So, when you add and subtract radical expressions, you would only add or subtract like radicals. Okay? So, I just explained step number two first. Now, um, before we can do step number two, we have to make sure that our radicals are in the simplified form. That's our step number one. So, let me explain what that means. If you have radical three, Okay, we know that we cannot split 3 anymore. I mean, it's just 3 times 1. So, we know this is already in the simplified form. Okay, but if you had another radical like radical 8, 8 can be factor, factored as 4 times 2, where 4 is a perfect num number. So, if you can factor our radical, the number in our radical, as the product of a perfect number and another number. Then you have to go ahead and simplify it again. So square root, this becomes square root of 4 times square root of 2. And we know that square root of 4 is nothing but 2. So we have 2 radical 2 as our answer. Okay. So what I mean by perfect numbers, perfect numbers are numbers that has a square root. Like square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, and so on and so forth. So here, um, another example. Let's say radical 18. Okay. Now 18, how can I factor 18? All the different ways I can factor 18. I can write 18 as 1 times 18, which is not really helpful in this case. I could write 18 as 2 times 9 or 3 times 6. There are three different ways to factor 18, right? Now, of the three, I have to only pick the one that has a perfect number and another number in it. Like 6 is not perfect, 3 is not perfect, so I cannot pick this. This is not of any help to me at all. In the second case, 9 is a perfect number. So I have to write 18 or split 18 as 9 times 2 rather than the other two options that I have. So 9 times 2 and 9 has a square root which is square root of 9 is 3. 2 does not have a square root. It cannot be spread anymore. It stays in the radical. So now we have simplified radical 18 as 3 radical 2. Another question, um, square root of 98. Okay. Um, now you have to think can you divide 98 by any of these perfect numbers? So if you take your calculator, divide 98 by any of these numbers and see if you get a whole number, you would actually see that 98 is 49 times 2. Square root of 49 becomes 7. It becomes, so 7 comes out as a whole number, not as a radical anymore. 2 doesn't have a square root, so it stays in the radical. So that's how you get the uh, that's how you simplify radicals. Um, another example, square root of 243. Okay. 
So take calculators, take 243 and try dividing it by some of these numbers by 16, by 25, 36, check what number will divide 243. So when you do 81, you know that 81 goes into 243 three times. So you would factorize 243 as 81 times 3. Now we know 81, the square root of 81 is 9, and you would just write 9 radical 3. That would be your answer. Okay, that's how we simplify radicals. Now, um, I want to explain um, one more. What if we have a coefficient before the radical, like 2 square root of 45, like that, 2 radical 45. So you would leave that 2 coefficient 2 right there. In the radical 45, you want to try to split 45 or factorize 45 as a perfect number and another number. We know that 45 is 9 times 5. 9 is a perfect number, so 9 times 5. So bring down this 2. And we know that square root of 9 is 3, and 5 stays in the radical. Now the operation between these two is multiplication. So you would write 3 times 2, you would combine it like that, and write 6 radical 5. That is how you simplify 2 radical 45. It becomes 6 radical 5. So they are both the same, in other words. Okay, so let's do um, two problems. The first question, 5 radical 18 minus 2 radical 8 plus 3 radical 24. So the first step is to simplify. Make sure they're all in their lowest forms. Can I split 18 again as a perfect number? Yes. 9 times 2 is 18, where 9 is perfect. Minus, bring down this 2. Can I split 8? Yes, you can split 8 as 4 times 2, where 4 is perfect. 3. Can I split 24? Well, 24 can be split in so many different ways. 1, 24, 2, 12, um, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. You can factorize 24 four different ways, of which... Only this has a perfect number, where 4 is a perfect number. So I'm going to split 24 as 4 times 6. Okay, that's it. So in the next step, I have a 5 here. Square root of 9 is the whole number 3. 2 doesn't have a square root, so it stays in the radical. Minus 2. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 stays in the radical. Plus 3. Square root of 4 is 2. 6 stays in the radical. Now, just combine the coefficients. 5 times 3 is 15 radical 2, minus 2 times 2 is 4 radical 2, plus 3 times 2 is 6 radical 6. Now, we just finished step number 1. All we did is simplify. We simplified it all the from the question. We got this step and we simplified it. That's all we did. Now, we are about to do step number 2, where you have to combine like radicals. So now look at, this is radical 2 and this is radical 2. So you combine the coefficients. So you go 15 minus 4. 15 minus 4 is 11 radical 2 plus 6 radical 6 and you're done. One more example. Example number 2. Um, negative 5 radical 45 plus 6 radical 12, plus 4 radical 6, minus 8 radical 20. So step number 1, simplify the radicals first. Negative 5, 45 can be written as 9 times 5, 6, 12 can be written as 4 times 3, 4 radical 6, the only way to write uh, factorize 6 is 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. There are no perfect numbers here, so I cannot take either one of them. So 6 is already in the simplified form. So you leave it there, just like that. Minus 8 radical 20, 4 times 5. Can be split like that. Next step, minus 5. Square root of 9 is 3, so it comes out as a whole number. 
so 9 is done with and 5 stays in the radical plus 6 square root of 4 2 comes out as a whole number 3 stays in the radical plus 4 radical 6 there's nothing we can do about it minus 8 square root of 4 is 2 radical 5 let's multiply the coefficients now negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 radical 5 3 times 6 times 2 is 12 radical 3 4 radical 6 minus 8 times 2 is 16 radical 5 so now we have combined like radicals let us uh, we have simplified radicals let us combine now if you look at this you can understand that there is a radical 5 here and there's a radical 5 here so let's combine the coefficients negative 15 um, and negative 16 will be negative 31 radical 5 so that's done with there is no other radical 3 so it's just plus 12 radical 3 that's also gone now what we left with is 4 radical 6 and that is your answer I hope this helps